What's up guys? Welcome to Dan's How-To Videos. Today is going to be a very short and easy how-to video on how to install iOS 6. Right here we've got the iPhone 4S. The iOS 6 install will work on a 3GS, iPhone 4, and uh, the new iPhone 5 as well as the iPhone 4S right here. If you have an iPad, it'll work on the iPad 2 as well as the new iPad. And for you guys who have iPod Touches, the 4th and 5th generation iPod Touch uh, is able to install iOS 6. All you need to do to install this is turn on your iPhone or iOS device, unlock it, go into the settings tab, go through to the general tab here, software update, it'll look for it and it'll find it, click download and install, agree to the terms, it'll say connect your phone or power source while downloading is in progress to save battery. You can do this, my iPhone is fully charged so I don't really need to do that. Click OK and you're going to have to wait, uh, it says estimated time remaining on the top there. You'll have to wait that time. So I'm going to pause this while it installs and I'll return when it's done. Okay, so we're completing the update here. I just wanted to go over a couple of things. This took a lot longer than I thought. It took about 20 minutes just to get to this point and now it says it's just preparing the updates here. So that's going to be a little bit more time. But I think this is a good time to go over what you're going to get with iOS 6. It does give you a brief description. It says the update contains over 200 new features, including all new Apple design maps, Siri features, Facebook integration, shared photo streams, passbook, and more. Personally, I'm excited about the Apple maps and also the new Siri features. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Uh, what are you most excited about? Or do you think this is totally useless and Apple dropped the ball on iOS 6? Let me know in the comments. And again, I'll return once it's finished updating here. Okay, we're back. iOS 6 is completed its update. It's verifying the updates right now. Just give it a second to boot up. So once you're completed, the phone will turn back on and it'll look like this. So you need to go through the whole configuration just like you did when you first got the phone. I'm just going to skip these steps right now. And it's going to update the iCloud and everything like that. Now, uh, before you do any of this, uh, make sure that you do save a backup. You should be saving backups all the time on your phone, either through the cloud or plugging in your USB and doing it through iTunes. I'm just going to click next on all this so I can start using the phone. Dismiss. And there you go. It's not going to really delete anything from your phone, but you should just uh, save backups just for your own peace of mind. You can see the new maps here, You're, they've gotten rid of Google Maps, so you have now the new uh, iOS Apple Maps here with uh, their own version of doing it. You can go to the 3D version here. That's pretty cool, play around with that. I'm going to do a full video tutorial on all the new features. There's Passbook and of course um, I'm going to show you guys if you want YouTube as you can see I have the YouTube app up here they've gotten rid of the usual YouTube app anyway guys that is iOS 6 that's how you get it on your iPhone or iOS device if you like this video found it helpful hit that like button down below it helps me out and uh, helps me produce more content like this also subscribe up top if you want more videos like this and to be notified when I post the full iOS 6 uh, tutorial video alright guys thanks for watching